Today we're doing yet another minor upgrade to my 2010 Mac Pro to keep it running just a little bit longer and somewhat more relevant just so I don't have to give Apple any more money for another computer because I refuse to do so. So what are we doing and why? Well, what we are going to be doing is installing the Allegro Pro USB 3.1 PCIe uh, adapter uh, into the mid-2010 Mac Pro. And why is because all it has is USB 2.0 adapters on the machine, both front and back, as well as FireWire. Now, FireWire is faster than USB 2.0, but we want to get faster yet. So that's why we're going to be going ahead and installing this card. Um, just a little bit of background. I'm sure most of you know what this is, but the difference in speeds going from USB 2.0 to USB 3.0 to USB 3.1, which I believe now they call it USB 3.1 Gen 2, just USB 3.1 is what we're going to call it, is going from 480 megabits per second or 60 megabytes a second in the USB 2.0 to the USB 3.0 speed of five gigabits per second, or up to 640 megabytes per second. Going to the 3.1 is a jump up to 10 gigabits per second, or 1250 megabytes per second. So that's a substantial increase going from 480 megabits, or 60 megabytes per second, all the way up to 10 gigabits per second or 1250 megabytes per second it's a massive increase um, i'm going to put the stats up here real quick on what the allegro pro does and why it does have four ports on it they're in groups of two and what i mean by that is if you have two things plugged into them they're on their individual controller so they will have either five, five gigabits per second transmit on all four or if you use just one of the top two and one of the bottom two, each of those will translate to 10 gigabits a second. Pretty straightforward. Um, and so let's go ahead and, and let's dig into this uh, case, do the upgrade, uh, install the driver, and literally, that'll be it. It's pretty straightforward. So doing this upgrade is as simple as lifting the latch, pulling off the cover, And then we're going to get in here and there's a screw that we're going to undo to release the back plate. I'm going to bring you in here so you can see that. So all we have to do here is remove these two screws, or since they're removed, but unscrew them because it's a plate that will come out. And then we're going to plug it in into the, oh, I'm probably going to do the top slot. Very simple to do. These are pressure screws. So they don't take much to undo them, literally. And it's a little plate, so I'm just gonna move it forward because I don't need to uh, dink around with getting it back in behind the graphics card. Simply pull out our appropriate um, plate, our PCIe bracket, I suppose would be a better term. And then plug in our uh, PCIe adapter for the USB. Now it's plugged in. We reinstall this plate or the screw bracket. It's installed, it's secure. Now we go ahead, we put our plate back on, our side plate, I should say, side panel, whatever you want to call it, plates, panels, something. And it's installed. Now I have four USB 3.1 ports. Again, they do activate or operate in a tandem on dual controllers. So in order to take full speed, full advantage of the speeds, 
you would use one here, one here, and those would each give you 10 gigabits a second of transfer. Otherwise, if you wanna plug them all in, you'll get five gigabits of transfer rate um, across each of them. So uh, I'm excited to get this thing working, transfer some uh, video off of my um, external drive at a much faster rate than I have been. And uh, yeah, so here we go. So installing the driver for this is extremely simple. First off, you just go to sonnettech.com and you're gonna get to the Allegra Pro USB 3.1 PCIe support library. Click on the drivers. We're gonna download now for the uh, Mac, OS, Mac OS 10 version. And what it is, it's a USB 3.0 power kernel extension. Um, and just the description is, the software installs a kernel extension for the power circuits on certain Sonnet USB 3.0 and 3.1 Gen 2 PCIe adapter cards that enables the computer to recognize that the card can charge iOS devices and also has sufficient power to operate the Apple SuperDrive and bus power peripherals. Peripherals, that's hard to say. Try saying that five times fast. Plugged into the USB keyboard. Peripherals, 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 peripherals. Yeah, it wasn't that bad, I guess. Okay, so you click download, it goes into your download folder, you open up the file, and then we get to the, the uh, power installer. Um, one thing I like about Apple's install is, gosh, they are so simple. Um, I prefer PC components. I prefer, personally, Mac OS. I just I always have, I feel like it's snappy, uh, even on an old machine. I mean, if you think about it, this machine is eight years old. I'm gonna restart the computer. All right, here we are back to desktop. Everything's working. I plugged in a um, USB 3.1 Samsung drive. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks good. We got uh, everything recognized. Let's just do this. Let's go uh, new folder. We're going to transfer my daughter's grab picks to this. So I'm going to select them all. And done. Yeah, I'd say that works. So anyway, that's where we're at. Um, pretty straightforward. That's that. I mean, today's video was meant to be short, simple, and with a purpose. And that purpose was just to show you how simple it is to keep a very old uh, machine, in this situation, a 2010 Mac Pro, relevant. I like the machine. Uh, it's still, I use it for a lot of things. In fact, uh, the next video I got coming up, I'm going to show you. Oh, I can still use it to render, and yes, it is not as fast as say a 9900K by any stretch of the imagination, but it still gets the job done, and for someone like myself that renders one, maybe two videos in a week, and I do a lot of video editing, or I shouldn't say video editing, but photo editing, uh, listening to music, music editing, because I do play some instruments and I will record occasionally, it works very well for me. I don't have any intention on going out and spending another $8,000 on a current gen Mac Pro um, when I can make this one work just fine, especially considering the fact I prefer to build the PCs or the window based machine anyway. So anyway, uh, hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, you know what else to do. Uh, hit subscribe. Um, leave comments below if you've got anything that you'd like to have um, me to cover in the future and I hope you have a good week. Thanks.